Hey guys, welcome back. Nevada Arcade Channel coming to you live from Southern Nevada. Right in the middle of the desert, and what a great place to be this time of year. This is the fall season, and uh, I started scratching here. Let's see where I was at, and uh, we will continue here. Alright, I think we're looking for R. We had a little, little minor camera malfunction, as that occurs sometimes, so... We hope we get all the way through this video. All right, letter R on the left side. Got a lot of scratching to go here. We have a tremendous amount of tickets still from this week. We did most of our matching type scratcher cards, but we haven't done a lot of the uh, crosswords yet for time reasons. Alright, letter I making a good uh, a good appearance. So you can see how we kind of struggle to get these letters uncovered on some of these tickets. This is one of them. Like that. Got a rub 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 and then some of them come off real easy. I has helped us get to a little bit of a jump start here. All right, two lines in. Let's see if we can't make some more white spaces here with the S. Guys, many of you know that we went over the 1,000 mark for subscribers about a month ago, and we are... Believe it or not, quickly approaching the 1500 mark. So I want to thank everybody that has done some sharing online and uh, in your social media groups because uh, when you share a video, that really helps with the traffic and with uh, new subscribers. So a big thank you to all of our friends out there that help out from time to time. It does not go unnoticed. We'd like to thank each and every one of you personally, but as you know, that would be a tough uh, tough road to go, but it may happen one day. All right, the letter L, usually a good one, and it's pretty good on this right puzzle. Well, I think we're approaching the 10 mark on the L's. If we've ever had that many L's in a puzzle. Of course, this is two separate puzzles. Normally, it's just a little top and bottom, a short one, small puzzle. All right, letter B. Well, I do not see a B on the right puzzle. Couple of them there. J for jellyfish. I sort of see an absence of uh, vowels here. There's an A we missed. All right, J. No more. Okay, that's not going to hurt. Letter O. Guys, we've had some phenomenal wins this past week. If you go back about, the, actually, the last half a dozen videos, we have had some major wins. And I don't mean major top prize. I mean, we've had some dollar tickets that absolutely blew our mind. We set our own record in the very next video for dollar tickets we broke the same record so it was kind of exciting you know normally a dollar ticket you get a dollar or two well these were not dollar or twos they were uh, much more than that all right we're down to a couple of them here i don't know if we're going to be able to pull out a win here k i'm still looking for stuff we might have missed because it seems like we have a lot of letters that didn't 
didn't get selected. No C, no N, no Y. Wow. And that G is not going to help anything either. We need the N and the M guys always to have a winner. I don't even know if we're going to spell one word like they customarily just give you as a little bit of a incentive to play again, but uh, now nah, this ticket here we never got out of the starting gate if there's a missing letter or two it's certainly not going to spell two words so we'll double check it let's do this let's spell uh pardon me let's scratch a, a lotteria and we'll do a twister next these are the ones that we've uh actually one of our very loyal uh viewers uh, hit this one for five hundred dollars today uh, pardon me the twisted so pretty nice win harp and the drum and then we had a very another very good uh, viewer somebody that's been with us for a long time and uh, I guess I'm talking kind of about the wrong puzzle she got every one of those prize boxes because she filled the whole card out now that's the best part of that story the downside of that story is they were for a dollar each, but still kind of exciting. So anyways, congratulations to them too, especially the one that hit the 500. Okay, Heron and Cactus. This is a game that we really were on a terror six months ago. The people were commenting in saying, just play the lottery, don't play anything else. And... Uh, we were, we were buying 20, 30 cards, and 50% of them were winners. It was the most amazing thing I'd ever seen. We just could not lose on Lotteria. And, uh, of course, that always changes. Seems like the next time we went and bought a batch of tickets, maybe we bought them somewhere else, uh, everything kind of changed. So, all right, we're drawn live at the Scorpion here. Let's see if the sun is among us. We need that scorpion. Where's the palm tree? The mermaid. It's in the house. The hand. Yeah, we're getting a lot of hits. We just need to bring it home. All right. The bonnet, I think, is there. No, the bonnet is not there. We need that scorpion. All right, now we're down to the only way we can win is either a crown or a scorpion. And we got the bird, the bird in the tree. So no good there. Let's do our twisted. Maybe we can get one of these total blackouts and win uh, all five prizes. And we've got a five times crossword yet to do. 63. 31 is a hit. I want to thank all you guys that kind of hang with us. You know, we have some lull videos where we just can't seem to put anything together. But uh, then we had a video the other day. I think we had four of six cards. We're all winners. So it's worth going back a couple of days or even a week and catching up a little bit if you haven't seen them because we had a really good week really good week no mega no megas yet because you will be the first to know keep in mind we're going to give back 10 percent to our loyal subscribers and giveaways once we hit that mega jackpot and we feel with the amount of scratchers we scratch in a week we have just as good a chance as about anybody so stay tuned guys if you haven't subscribed it's a it's a great time to hit that button well, we're getting some hits here. 49. We're not stringing anything together, though. We only have... I think we've only got one, one... Oh, no, we have two in the purple. All right, number nine. Up in the corner. Now we have one in the orange. All right, 47... 37. All right, I got two blues. 
No threesomes yet. 77. Two yellows. 57. Great year for cars. Bel Airs, Corvettes. 54. See, 64. Thirty-four, no, yeah, okay, fifty-four, okay, well, are we drawing, yeah, fifty-three would be a winner on the yellow, fifty-one, I thought was there, yep, okay, now we have three purples, so thirty-two and fifty-three, there's number twenty, Thirty-three. No good there. Two misses on the first uh, the first lineup. Ten. Now how could they do that? The first three were all misses. Ten, twenty, and thirty-three. I got to double check that. Ten, twenty, and thirty-three. Wow, we what a way to start a card if it would have gone the other way. All right, guys, this is going to be the one that's going to pull us out. Best 20 spot. How about if we do the how about if we do the bonus letters first? What if they matched? V. Then if they match and we got that prize, would we even continue with the puzzle? Because we don't know. Well, we don't know. We don't know if we can still win in the puzzle. And that prize. So look at that. See, I just answered my own question. It's a match. We have a winner, but can we still win by playing the puzzle? Those match, guys. That means we get what's in the prize box. However, we're going to scratch this puzzle, and we hope somebody can answer our question, and I know she's going to watch. So we have an aficionado in California. All right, G. So the question is, BB, we won that prize. Can we still win another prize here? You guys watch the comments. She will uh, know the answer to that, and she will be able to tell us. But just for fun, why would we stop scratching if we knew we couldn't win? Because we're not really too sure. That's our first match on the uh, bonus match for a little while. I mean, we've actually hit quite a few of those, but just not in the last couple of weeks. We actually did not have uh, a chance to scratch this puzzle. Probably one of the reasons. All right. T. This puzzle, for some reason, feels good in the hand. Now, that doesn't mean anything. Many a poker hands have felt good to me, and all my money went in the pot. And unfortunately, it wasn't always the best hand. So, but this one here has a certain feeling to it. Let's see if I'm right, because I really want to see if we can win twice. And of course, the question is, what would be the top prize in that prize box? I mean, could that be 50000 bucks as opposed to a ticket or $6? The odds of hitting a cash prize on here is 1 in 3 and a third. Okay, prizes in this game range from a free ticket to $20,000. So... Does that mean that prize can be $20,000? We hope so. All right, did I get all the eyes? These are just so much easier to scratch. I cannot emphasize enough, guys. If you don't scratch a lot of tickets like me, they just are so much clearer and the peelings come off. We might do away with those darn uh, five times or whatever those ones were. 
All right, the letter R. Seem to be getting quite a few hits. But look at the word clown. Nothing. Oh, did I even look for V's? I don't know if I did. All right, while I'm looking for L, I'm also looking for V's. Now, did I already scratch the V's? Oh, no, there was a V, vent. There was a V. We still have quite a few left, guys. I hope I can prove the fact that we can win two directions here. All right, looking for some more K's, not finding them. How about C? Trick. We have a trick spelled. Boy, a lot of C's. A lot of C's. Normally, they don't come in like that. Boy, we could use an A and an S and an L. There's a D. S would be huge. A would be huge. Only one D it looks like. All right. P is in Paul. Looks like we have two letters, guys, and I'm optimistic here as what could possibly happen. Let's see. Yeah, just two. All right, W. Not going to spell clown. All right, what's going to be the last one? Yeah, I was going to say it had to be a vowel. A Q is not going to help us. So, guys, we will wait for our channel historian to answer that question. For now, it's going to be money. Four bucks on a three dollar ticket. I had to look up. I thought it was a five dollar game we were playing. Four dollars. Now the multiplier I think is live here. I think the multiplier, it says Uncover the multiplier spot and multiply your total winnings. Where well, our total winnings are four dollars, as you can see, and they are still four dollars, guys. I was trying to stretch that in any way, shape, or form I could. We had we had one little winner here out of our uh, four tickets. Those other three just dreadful, but we are going to learn something today. We're going to find out if, in fact. Because why would you continue if you can't win twice? If you match that, you would just say you're done with the ticket. But anyways, we'll find out. And uh, you watch the comment box in this video because uh, that certain somebody will know the answer. Guys, appreciate you being here. Nevada Arcade, out.